The beach is supposed to be a calming, zen place where people go to relax and have fun. But sadly, that's not always how it goes down. Sometimes crazy things happen. If these 20 beach moments were not filmed, no one would believe it. Number 20. Group of Seals Eating Fish while every seal's eating habits are different, most gray seals can eat about 10 pounds or a little over four and a half kilograms of food in one day. Their primary food of choice is fish, but they'll also choose to dine on octopus, lobster, squid, and even eel. But this situation right here is why you should never be alone on a beach. You might just encounter a massive colony of seals trying to dine on fish, and you might not make it out alive if you got in the middle of them. Jose Augusto de la Cruz Flores captured some incredible footage from a fishing boat near a beach showing hundreds of seals trying to eat the fish caught up in the trawler's net. You could also see a man paddling in a small boat in the middle of the seals, but fortunately, all the seals were keeping their distance. Most people who commented on the video uploaded to Facebook were of two minds about the situation. Some said that the fisher people should have expected this since they were stealing the seals' food, while others said it was time to thin out their numbers to protect the fish populations. Either way, you can't deny it would be terrifying to be caught up in a seal-feeding frenzy like this. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. This is why you should never be alone on a beach. Let's talk about sharks. These creatures don't care about the laws of physics despite their size. This photo shows a moment a reporter was chatting to a girl about his job when suddenly, out of the blue, a shark defied physics by leaping out of the water and lunging towards a beachgoer. Utterly terrifying. Thankfully, the guy was able to run and avoid the lethal attack just in time. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag oddtopic. Number 19. Dolphins Stranded and Saved Sometimes you can be in the right place at the right time to make a real difference, and the situation involving sunbathers and dolphins was just like that. Families, couples, and individuals were sunbathing in Brazil on the Rio de Janeiro coastline minding their own business when something unusual happened. At least 30 dolphins all of a sudden arrived on the beach and immediately beached themselves. Without human intervention, they would likely die, but those on the beach that day weren't about to let that happen. While they were, of course, initially stunned, beachgoers took very little time to jump into action. Many people ran to the edge of the water after hearing the cries of the dolphins and started pulling them by their tails back into the water where they should have enough depth to swim away from the shore. Every single dolphin was able to be rescued and they were left to carry on their merry way. According to reports, the dolphins were caught up in a strong current and were unable to swim in a safe direction. There probably would have been many casualties if it happened during a less popular beach visiting time. Number 18. Stranded Octopus Thanks Man the average octopus is thought to be quite intelligent, and if you didn't think so before, you might now. When a man was visiting his local beach and spotted a distressed and stuck octopus, he jumped into action. Without having access to water soon, the octopus might die. So the man grabbed a plastic container, scooped the octopus into it, and took it to the water's edge, where it could gain its bearings and stand the best chance of survival. Now, you might think that as soon as the octopus hit the water, it would immediately set off into the dark depths of the ocean away from the terrifyingly large thing that attempted to save its life. But this octopus didn't. Instead, after it took some time to compose itself in the water, it hung out with the man for a bit. It spread itself out and placed one of its tentacles on his shoe. It stayed there for some time before taking off, almost like it was saying thank you to the man for saving its life. I mean, sure, it might have also been a coincidence, but let's not forget how intelligent these creatures really are. Some have been known to open jars from the inside and others have been able to complete tasks for food rewards. It's really not out of the question for them to also express gratitude after being saved. Number 17. Clam Moves on Beach 
If you really take a moment to think about it, how often do you see clams and bivalve mollusks moving around on their own? You mostly only see them being moved around by people collecting them to eat or in the currents. So seeing one moving under its own steam is quite shocking, especially when you see how they do it. They have a foot that looks a bit like a thin tongue, and they use this to get around, although this alien-like appendage doesn't make it athletic by any means. The foot allows for a small amount of lateral movement, but that's about it. They actually mostly use the foot to burrow into the sand, and it's pretty strong for this reason. Otherwise, clams do mostly rely on water currents to move them around regions, and they don't have a lot of control over where they end up. When they do land on a beach after traveling there in the current, they'll flop out their foot to dig themselves into the sand and protect themselves from predators. Most clams have two muscle types to help them live life to the fullest. The first is their valve muscle, which allows them to open and shut their shell, and the other is the foot, which is controlled by posterior and anterior foot muscles. Number 16. Sand Art a very good reason not to go to the beach on your own is so you can have friends and family enjoying the experience with you. That is especially true if you happen to visit during the International Sand Art Festival. During this festival, dozens of spectacular sand artists come together from all around the world and show off their amazing skills. The festival is often held at Chandrabhaga Beach in India, which is famous for surfing, sailing, swimming, ATV riding, and more. It's not uncommon to see artists visiting from as far away as the United States, Germany, France, Spain, and Norway to craft breathtaking sculptures using nothing but sand and a few tools. The festival will take place over five days, giving them plenty of time to carve and pack sand to perfection. Often, they follow a theme such as Save the Sea, and it's fun to watch what they all come up with. But if you've ever created an amazing sandcastle at the beach, you'll know how sad it is when the waves claim it. Can you imagine working on something for five days only for it to be destroyed in a matter of seconds? Number 15. Crocodile Visits Beach in Southern Mexico Many people like to stick with their home paddling pools rather than take trips to the beach for a dip. When you're in the ocean, you have to contend with the weird feeling of seaweed under your feet and even the risk of being stung by jellyfish or even touched by fish. But as it turns out, those aren't the only risks associated with going to the beach. You might also encounter a lone croc, so it definitely doesn't pay to visit the beach on your own if you happen to be in southern Mexico. In the southern area of Quintana Roo is the popular Palancar Beach, which is where many people go to relax, sunbathe, and just enjoy the sunshine. Although it was reasonably quiet one day in 2016 since a lifeguard shooed all the sunbathers away. Why? Well, because a crocodile had decided to take a dip that day as well, and it's probably not a good idea to share the same spot. While sunbathers moved away from the beach area, the croc decided to hang around and go for a dip in the water. According to some sources, there's an ecological reserve near this beach, so they are known to visit the beach from time to time. Number 14. Sudden Hailstorm in Siberia in the middle of the summer, when it's as hot as 99 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius, there's nothing quite like a trip to the beach to cool off. The sun's shining, there's not a cloud in the sky, and it's a brilliant family day. But as some people in the largest city of Siberia, Novosibirsk, found out, that can all change in a split second. In 2014, on a sunny day, beachgoers noticed how heavy winds started to hit the beach between two bridges that crossed the Ob River. Sure, wind is annoying, but it's manageable on a hot day. But that wind was just the beginning of what was to come. Hailstones the size of golf balls and even chicken eggs started raining down on beachgoers, leaving them battered and bruised. Parasols and beach equipment were thrown around by the wind, and people ran for cover, screaming as they were being pelted with what felt like bullets raining down from the sky. Number 13. Cobra on a Beach 
there isn't exactly a shortage of things trying to kill you in the water surrounding South Africa. Cape Town is well known for having vast numbers of sharks. But it turns out they aren't the only creature to fear if you go to a beach like Hout Bay Beach. In 2014, visitors to the beach spotted a deadly Cape Cobra in the shallow water. It was about 1.8 meters, or nearly 6 feet long, and was slithering its way along the sand in the water. According to snake and reptile expert Sean McLeod, it's rare to see a cobra of that size, and they often venture into the water when they're getting ready to shed their skin because it becomes irritated. It seemed to have ended up in the water on this occasion because the person taking the camera and video footage was blocking its potential escape route. Sean also said that the snake would only become dangerous if people decided to disturb or tamper with it. That rings true when about 98% of snake bites are self-inflicted. Many people who saw the photos and footage online and live in the area said they would be avoiding the beach as they've had problems with snakes before. Although reptile experts did arrive to capture this one, and dog owners were encouraged to keep their dogs on leashes to keep them safe. Number 12. Stranded Giant Turtle Rescued From Beach What are you supposed to do when you see a giant turtle stranded on a beach? You do absolutely everything in your power to save its life, and that's exactly what some people in Indonesia did. A group of people visiting Oping Beach in North Sulawesi's Minahasa Regency noticed a hefty 200 kilogram or 440 pound leatherback turtle, which are endangered, struggling in the estuary on its way to the sea. To the beachgoers, it appeared to be too weak to get back to the water on its own. And who knows what would have happened to it if it didn't get back into the water. So the group of rescuers came to its aid. They pushed from the rear while the turtle used its flippers to move forward. One person tipped water over it to keep it moist during the rescue mission. To be fair though, the turtle looked like it probably would have made it on its own eventually, but knowing that they are in danger, the locals weren't taking any chances. There are thought to be less than 25,000 females left in the world, a significant drop from the 115,000 adult females in 1980. Number 11. Sea Snails Eating Jellyfish you might have spent much of your life thinking that sea snails are plant-eating herbivores. After all, many of them use their teeth-covered tongues to strip seaweed off rocks. But did you know that some also eat other animals? It's not uncommon for them to feast on worms, barnacles, and surprisingly, jellyfish. For example, a woman visiting Hersham Beach in South Africa in early 2016 was pleasantly surprised to see a dead jellyfish washed ashore surrounded by tiny sea snails having a great old time snacking on its remains. And it seems like other people have had similar encounters at their local beaches. Rob the Ranger posted a video on YouTube showing plow snails dining on a barrel jellyfish that likely met its demise after an encounter with sea turtles. It was found being eaten by the snails on the shores of Buffalo Bay in South Africa. While it can be gross to watch animals being eaten by other animals, let's put it this way. Would you prefer to step over a rotting, stinking jellyfish as you venture into the ocean, or the devoured carcass of a creature? I know which one I'd choose. Number 10. Siberian Giant Snowballs Why are all the strange weather events happening in Siberia? First, people are hit with golf ball-sized hailstones on a warm summer's day, and now random giant snowballs are turning up on beaches. What on earth is happening there? Anyone visiting a stretch of beach in northwest Siberia's Gulf of Ab were in for quite the shock when they saw hundreds of icy spheres ranging in size from tennis balls to nearly 1 meter or 3.2 feet. It almost looked like someone had snuck down there during the night to prepare for a mega snowball fight, but it was actually completely natural. It's a rare environmental process that begins with one small piece of ice rolling in the wind and water and ending up as a perfectly formed ice sphere. According to Arctic and Antarctic Research Institute Press Secretary Sergei Lisenkov, the sludge ice and slob ice work with the coastline and the right wind conditions and temperature to create these unique balls. While it was quite a surprise for many people, it wasn't the first time giant snowballs had been seen. Something similar happened in 2014 in the Gulf of Finland, and again a year later in Michigan. Number 9. A Bottle on a Beach People often joke about finding a message in a bottle, but how many people can actually say that they've found a glass bottle on a beach containing a message? Very few, but it happens. 
When Tanya Illman from Western Australia was walking north of Wedge Island on a beach with friends and family, she spotted a bottle sticking out of the sand near where they parked their vehicle. Thinking the bottle was quite nice, she picked it up and thought it would look great on a bookshelf. However, when her son's girlfriend tipped sand out of the bottle, a tightly wrapped note tied with string came out with it. It was damp in the bottle, so they dried it out before unrolling it to see what it said. It appeared to have faint German handwriting, and the Illman started wondering if it was historically important after noticing the year beginning with 18. After some research, they learned that the message in a bottle likely formed part of the German Naval Observatory's Drift Bottle Experiment, which was carried out between 1864 and 1933. During this period, German ships dropped bottles into the ocean with precise coordinates, the names of the ships, and the travel routes on the notes. In this instance, the bottle was dropped from a ship named Paula in 1886 on its way from Wales to the Dutch East Indies. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the bottle and its message were authenticated, and the Illman family find is now the oldest message in a bottle. Number 8. Jelly-like Sea Creatures it's not very often that beachgoers get to see by the wind sailors and buoy barnacles firsthand. They rarely end up on shores and are more commonly found in the southern hemisphere. However, visitors to Newport Beach near Balboa Pier were able to get up close and personal with the tropical jelly-like sea creatures when they were spotted around Orange County in mid-2021. Alana Flores was among the first to spot them after she saw a post by iNaturalist online. She had been teaching her homeschooled children about buoy barnacles and by the wind sailors and had been passionate about them for a long time. She had never seen them in person before, but she was determined to. They went for a look near the Newport Beach jetty and found buoy barnacles, which are interesting creatures with purple tentacles and translucent plates. The following day, they went looking for the By the Wind sailors and found some sitting on the sand. She spotted over half a dozen in an hour, which was an incredible experience for her. Up until some had been seen off Southern California's coast between 2014 and 2016, they had only been spotted a handful of times in the last 30 years. Number 7. Garfield Landline Phones Lots of weird things wash up on beaches, like dead sea animals, seaweed, and, unfortunately, bits of fishing equipment. But a bright orange Garfield landline phone is one of the last things you'd expect to find. Weirdly, it wasn't just a single Garfield phone that washed up on a coastline in Brittany, France. Instead, entire phones and parts of phones have been washing up for at least three decades. People have been finding the coiled phone cords, pieces of Garfield heads, and receivers since the 1980s. While some people might take great delight in the find, it's a cause for environmental concern. Where are these phones come from, and how many more are out there? Environmental group Arville Tansu president Claire Simonin Lemaire said activists were worried about them coming from a potentially lost shipping container in the ocean, which might be contaminating the marine ecosystem. However, a local farmer called René Morvan met with Claire and helped them solve the mystery. He said that he had noticed the phones were washing up in the mid-1980s, so he and his brother combed the area to find the source. They discovered a metal shipping container in a sea cave packed full of the phones. The tide made it almost inaccessible for most of the time, but volunteers were eventually able to get inside. Unfortunately, the container was now empty, which means all the phones are floating around in the ocean, adding to the significant plastic pollution issue we face. Number 6. Giant Squid it's not very often that you stumble across a giant squid on a beach. In fact, the earliest stranded squid specimen in the Iziko Museum of South Africa only dates back to 1972. It might have something to do with the fact that these short-living marine creatures live thousands of feet below the ocean surface. so their remains most likely stay in the sea once they die. However, that doesn't seem to be the case 100% of the time. Many people stumbled across a stranded giant squid on a beach in South Africa in 2020. One of the first people to see it was Richard Davies, and it was still alive when he found it. He said it was sad because even though it was pumping out ink and was able to suction onto his hand when he touched its tentacle, it was in the process of dying. When Adele Gross from Cape Town found it during her early morning walk, she wanted to move it back to the ocean, although by that point, it was dead. She said it looked like a majestic prehistoric animal. Scientists don't know how the squid died, but they think it was only around two years old. Most giant squids grow quite quickly and only live up until they're around five years old. Number 5. 
oil rig on Scotland Beach. Imagine turning up to your local beach that you know like the back of your hand, only to spot a massive 19,000 ton oil rig. You probably think you took a wrong turn and somehow ended up on a different beach. In August 2016, beachgoers were quite confused when they noticed a giant oil rig had washed up on the Isle of Lewis's Dalmore Beach. It almost looked like it was supposed to be there, except it wasn't. The rig, which still had about 300 tons of diesel on board, was being moved by a tugboat, but it became detached during a storm that saw winds as powerful as 70 miles an hour. No one was aboard the rig, but the beach was closed so that crews could safely salvage it. It's not known where the oil rig was being taken to, but since there's an oil rig graveyard in Scotland, it seemed like the most likely destination for it. It wasn't long before the rig was removed and surfers were able to return to their favorite surfing spot. Number 4. Black Mussels in South Africa When you see the price of fresh mussels, you would have been flocking to Roderick Beach in South Africa in 2014. In a mysterious set of circumstances, hundreds of thousands of black mussels washed ashore on the beach, covering an area of about 325 yards. Some people think they might have washed up on the beach due to a red tide of harmful algal bloom, but experts didn't think that was the case. Instead, Nature Valley Trust's Dr. Mark Brown said the beaching didn't appear to be linked to anything sinister or a red tide. Instead, it was most likely caused by heavy seas dislodging the mussels and bringing them ashore. In November the year before, something similar had happened in that same spot. Dr. Brown said large swells and currents break up the beds of mussels on reefs, causing them to wash up. Sand movement might also be a factor, and while it might have been tempting for locals to venture down with a bag and gather as many mussels as they could to make a range of delicious dishes, officials were warning against it as a just-in-case measure. Number 3. Mass Death of Sea Life Seeing the odd sea creature washing up on a beach is quite sad, but could you imagine the utter heartbreak and devastation when you see tens of thousands of them? All manner of sea creatures were washed up on a beach in Kamchatka, Russia in 2020, and scientists were trying to figure out what caused this massive Russian Pacific Coast die-off. Part of a beach, which is usually popular with surfers, appeared to have no sand at all, with the entire surface covered in dead crabs, mussels, sea urchins, octopuses, and more. According to Russian environmental data, the area had excess iron, phenol, and phosphate ion levels, which might have contributed to the deaths. Scientists also examined the water around the bay and, sadly, discovered that nearly all sea life, down to 15 meters or 50 feet, was dead. You might think it's a human pollution issue, but it might actually be natural. One of the strongest theories is that a toxin produced by blooming algae was to blame. Another was that seismic activity might play a part since it's not all that uncommon in volcanic regions. In saying that, there's always a chance that we played a part. Some people think the Kozelski dumping ground that stores over 100 tons of toxic chemicals from the Soviet era might be a source of contamination since the fencing was breached. After tests, no signs of chemical leaks were found. Whatever the cause, though, Greenpeace called it an environmental disaster. Russian officials took a more relaxed approach. They said that it wasn't catastrophic because no humans were injured or died, and that eight surfers who experienced corneal burns were not in serious condition. Number 2. Man Saves Baby Dolphin Heavy-sized dolphins are classified as near-threatened, which means their population is at risk. So if you see one in need of help, it's probably a good idea to try and be the savior it needs. Like this guy, for example. Pelican Point kayaking tour guide Nod Dreyer noticed a young heavy-sized dolphin stuck on a beach in Namibia. There was no way it was going to make it back into the water on its own, and it would likely die without help. Nod immediately jumped into action. Given that it was so young, he was actually able to lift the dolphin and carry it back into the water rather than dragging it and risk injuring it. Once it was in the water, he was able to give it a little encouragement to work its way into the deeper part and head back to where it came from. Nod definitely did a good deed. These dolphins are exposed to a large number of threats, such as fisheries bycatch, localized hunting, climate change, and interactions with boats. Some people even catch them on purpose to eat them. Initially, these small dolphins were classed by the IUCN as data deficient, but we've now learned that their populations are not likely to be thriving. Every life saved counts. Number 1. 
cliff collapses onto Canary Island Beach. We take it for granted that large and seemingly strong hills, cliffs, and mountains will always remain where they are. But when hundreds of people witnessed a cliff collapsing onto a Canary Island beach, we soon learned that they don't. In 2020, a ground failure resulted in a cliff collapsing into the water below. But not before it rained rubble down on vehicles and camper vans parked directly below the cliff. Emergency crews raced to the scene with dogs to rescue anyone who might have been caught in the rubble. According to experts, the rock mass was of a layered sedimentary such as sandstone. They also said that coastal cliff collapses were not uncommon. Usually, they are associated with waves causing erosion. Over time, the rock mass's stability deteriorates and chunks of the material give way. The water may also undercut the slope, causing a loss of support and eventual cliff failure. After it happened, the president, Casimiro Curbelo, said he was optimistic there wouldn't be any victims because small landslides in the area had caused people to move away. Although emergency operations were carried out overnight and residents were told to make sure they could account for all family members. Going to the beach is a fun family activity, right? But it seems like there are always some unexpected and sometimes dangerous situations each time people visit. Have you ever encountered something absurd on a beach trip? Tell us your story in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.